You ever read a poem called A Farmer Ignored by His Bull? Poems often need to simmer a while before they get written. Uh, this one simmered especially a long time, I guess about 40 years. It goes back to when I was growing up on the farm in British Columbia, Canada. We had some neighbors down the road, the Carlsons, who were good friends of the family, kind of like an aunt and uncle. One day, Mrs. Carlson called up my dad on the phone and said, she couldn't find your husband, please come over. I went over with my dad and we found Mr. Carlson all right. He was lying in the barn in the muck, gored to death by a Jersey bull that was loose. I remembered afterwards that a lot of people criticized Lenny Carlson for not having cut the horns off the bull, but he'd always said that they were just too beautiful and he just couldn't do it. And as years went by thinking about this, it became a kind of metaphor for a lot of things where beauty and danger go together. The farmer gored by his bull. Golden one, that thrust you gave that first slipped through my heart caught me by surprise and held me there, listening to the burst of veins feeding a warm flood on the rise. So many changes now, your black tipped horn turned red, my soul turned free, my wondering eyes wide open everywhere, my body shorn of waving ears is just a visitor joined by a silvery thread of this newborn beast we have made, our coupled minotaur. A bull's head hoists the body of a man. I know your rough labyrinth, unraveler. Below the world lies open to my scan. I see how all that ended first began. So strange that I, who raised you from a calf, have now been raised by you. You toss me high to lay me low. I wonder, should I laugh to see what comes to pass, or should I cry? We were meant for a time when danger bound to beauty made that beauty multiply. I saw the way those crown glories crowned your head, lit up your eyes, sparked a wild beat to set your black hooves stamping on the ground. To cut them, burn their roots, would bring defeat to both of us. Without his horns, the bull is half without his sex, left incomplete. And I, I would have missed the miracle of seeing you so strong and beautiful. But still, I pierced you first. I shoved that steel ring clean through your nostrils, clamped and locked it there. Locked the surging strength of the tawny yearling to human will and made you so aware the strength will yield pain. Yes, where I led you follow, though your nostrils still might flare. While I could hold you many times instead, I let you loose to prance across the field, with horns that dazzled every cow you bred, and harried shadow rivals made them yield to you, my minotaur. Oh, we were friends at play this wintry day, when you unreeled the silvery thread, and showed me as it ends, strength sometimes bends, but beauty rends, it rends. 